Bun Bò Nung, honeycomb pandan flavored cake. It's so unique and a favorite treat for many, but it's such a fickle, finicky recipe that it torments many home cooks who have it worked once, then flop the next time. So, I've been tinkering with lots of little adjustments and tricks to try to deliver to you an updated and foolproof recipe. You can do this. So, let's get cooking. Let's prepare our batter. Crack six large room temperature eggs and gently stir the eggs with a fork. Stir without lifting your fork. This helps avoid creating unwanted air bubbles. Sprinkle on one teaspoon salt, add one cup of sugar, and mix well. Add in two tablespoons coconut oil, quarter teaspoon pandan extract, and mix well. Here's the brand I'm using. Pour in 400 milliliter of coconut milk. Not to worry about the coconut oil solidifying. It will melt when it bakes. Pour it into a large pitcher. Mix well to dissolve and combine all your ingredients. Set this aside until needed. In a large mixing bowl with two cups of tapioca flour, add in your two tablespoons rice flour and one and a half teaspoon of double acting baking powder. Here's the brand I'm using, but any brand would work as well as long as it's double acting and not single acting. Give it a good whisk to mix the dry stuff well. Then, pour it into your wet ingredients and whisk to well combine. Place a strainer in another pitcher and pour your mixture through the strainer to remove any lumps. Now add in 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. See how smooth it is? Beautiful. Now here's another trick. Let your batter rest for 30 minutes. This way it will give any air bubbles we create while whisking a chance to rise and burst. So when it bakes, they don't expand and deflate your cake as soon as we take it out of the oven. Next, grease your pan with some cooking oil. Do make sure to evenly coat every crease and corner of your pan to make removal of the cake easier later. I use a brush for this step. Place your empty bun cake pan into the oven and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. When it hits 350, pour the batter into the pan. And bake for one hour. Use a timer. When the timer goes off at one hour, turn off the heat and let the cake rest in the oven for 20 minutes with the door slightly open. Remove the cake carefully and allow it to cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes before slicing into it. And use a sharp serrated knife to slice it so it isn't crushed. Now it's the moment of truth. Ooh, look at that. Such a beautiful honeycomb in the green goodness of natural pandan flavors and coloring. That honeycomb pattern from top to bottom is your sure sign of success. Perfection does require a lot of patience, and I practice this recipe many times, many ways to try to make sure that when you give it a try, you'll find that it really can be a piece of cake. Good luck, my friends. Thank you for watching. Please support and subscribe for more videos. Connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy eating.